Clouds billowed and the winds whipped the flags, but the rains never came. Instead, hundreds of people showed up in front of our historic city hall in downtown Picayune to honor our veterans. Honoring our veterans on November 11th is nothing new for the citizens of Picayune. However, something new was added to our Veterans Memorial Monument Walk in front of City Hall as the Women's VFW Post 3804 Auxiliary unveiled a statue honoring our fallen soldiers. I want to thank you for coming out today to support our uh, monument dedication. American Legion member Ronnie Lowe was master of ceremonies and did an excellent job of keeping the ceremony flowing smoothly. I pray on this day, Father, that uh, we would be that community that is a shining light on a hillside. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. The Picayune High School Color Guard was on hand to present the colors while Picayune Councilwoman Tammy Valente sang the national anthem a cappella after which came the pledge. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the After the colors were retired, Ronnie Lowe introduced a number of guest speakers. We honor you, we salute you, and we thank you for your service, for your sacrifice to this great country, the United States of America. Thank you. There's no greater honor than to be able to stand here today and thank each and every one of you who have served in the armed forces. I'd like to thank all of the men and women who have sacrificed whether you went to combat or not, because of your service, we're able to stand here today and do the things that we take for granted. Can we give them a warm uh, round of applause? It's truly an honor and a privilege to be here today, to be in Picayune celebrating Veterans Day. It's also an honor to be here as a fellow veteran with God the Almighty, Bless our veterans, bless our men and women in uniform, bless our great state and the most exceptional nation on the face of the earth. Thank you all for having me here today. I appreciate it. Of course, the highlight of the ceremony was the unveiling of the fallen soldier statue by the Women's Auxiliary of Post 3804. The history of the Battle of Cross is a symbolic replacement of a cross on the battlefield or at the base camp for a soldier who has been killed made up of the soldier's rifle with bayonet attached, stuck into the ground, helmet on top, dog, tie, dog tags sometime hanging from the rifle, and the boots of the fallen soldier next to it. Its purpose is to show honor and respect for the falling at the battle site. The practice started during the American Civil War as a means of identifying the bodies on the battleground before they were removed. There has been 1,343,812 KIAs since the American Revolution to the Afghanistan War. We honor those dead with the memorial we dedicate today. At this time, I'd like to have the Ladies Auxiliary come up and unveil our monument.
District 5 Supervisor Sandy Kane Smith sang a moving Billy Ray Cyrus number called Some Gay Ball. I'll gay some and some gay ball. Some stood true for the red, white, and blue, and some had to fall. And if you ever think of me, think of all your liberties and recall. Trish Kennedy, with the Women's Auxiliary, was willing to share her thoughts on the Fallen Soldier Project and pretty well summed up everyone's feelings. About 14 months ago, I was the vice president and I felt like this was a very humbling monument that should be added to this Veterans Memorial. I come from a long line of Marines. My, bro my brother was a Vietnam veteran. I married a Marine, a Vietnam veteran. And my son-in-law now is active duty Marine. The veterans have always been in my heart. I love this monument. It represents every fallen soldier that has given the ultimate price for our freedom today. Everyone. We started 14 months ago. It's been a long, long road. Everybody's put everything into it. They've put their hearts their time, their blood, their sweat, and their tears into this. And how do you feel about the turnout today? It was an awesome turnout. We had participation from the fire department, from the local uh, National Guard unit, we had the police department, we had Congressman Stephen Palazzo. We had a wonderful turnout. I am so proud that this day has turned out this way. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Veterans Day just wouldn't be Veterans Day without a good parade. Local high schools, police and fire departments, veterans associations, and the local National Guard Armory all joined together at 6 p.m. and rolled down Goodyear Boulevard to the delight of an appreciative crowd.